use the silly hat. Look, we're on Walton Pier, just a few hours, just messing about. Let's see how it goes. Colt Queen Ress, that's the first one I've ever caught in Essex. That's it, he's gone back. What a beautiful fish in the sunlight, look. Fred, look, what oh, by a thread. Goodbye. Just caught another ras, caught Quim ras number two. Beautiful colour that is. Look at that. So that's another little bass, not very big but beautiful nonetheless, looking nice in the sunshine, gonna throw it back. Ah. I've just met this nice fella at the end of the pier, he's one of my subscribers apparently. <laughs> nice to meet ya. As I say, again, excuse the silly hat, but uh, <laughs> we've had about five fish, two little rats, cold cream rats, and three tiny little bass. Nothing to write home about, but just bringing the kids out for a couple of hours. It's really busy on here with people walking up and down the pit. And they're getting in your way all the time and that. So we're going to give it a, going to call it a day. I'm going to go back to my aunt's and have a nice barbecue. <laughs> We're going home soon, but before we go home, we've come down to Walton at low tide just to see if there's anything to catch, just to bulk up the video a bit. Going to see what's under the pier and around the pier. Got a big carp landing there. Just going to give it a go. Going to see what's about. It's 27 degrees today. And you know what? In old money, I'm not sure what that is, but that's got to be in the 80s. Well, first thing we're noticing, there's lots of dead whelk shells on the shore. There must be a lot of whelks out there. Beach. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Lugworm casts. Loads of. Just dragging the uh, landing net in the shallows under the pier. Getting a load of these brown shrimp. Boys just paddling in the sea. And these are the native oysters. Look at that, that's a nice one. That's quite a big one there. 
the further out you go, the more you get. Got some common yeah. gobies there. <laughs> you got some shrimps there, Max. Little gobies and little shrimps, look. Right, also noticing some of these uh, common limpets, Patella vulgata. I'm going to take a couple of these home and I'm going to do something with these. I've just got to get them off. I've got nothing heavy to get them off with. I've got this piece of slate. I'm going to try with this. Yeah, that's one. Ooh. That's two. Putting these, Cutting your knuckles up doing this. Right, let's we'll see what we can do with these. Take five home. Nice fatties. Like myself. <laughs> so not much to report under the pier. This is just before we go home. Just, uh, just thought we'd come down here before we drive home just to see what was under the pier. We haven't really got the right equipment or enough time to do it properly, but yeah, there's a few little bits and pieces. So, see you later. Well, I'm back home now. Gotta sort these limpets out. Not sure really what I'm gonna do with them. I know they're edible, because I've seen other people eating them online, uh, on YouTube. I'm just going to cut them out of the shell and just, I don't know, do whatever with them. So I've cut them all out of shells, got the meat out, give them a little bit of a clean up, just going to see what I can do with them. Right, so I'm going to try and really, really finely slice these. Frying up a little bit of garlic, and I'm going to put these wafer thin bits of limpet in now. That's what you call flash fried. Right, so I know it ain't much, this is just to try it out really. It ain't a meal, I just want to see what they taste like fried in a little bit of garlic. See how tough they are. Still chewy. Edible though, it's all right. Not over chewy. Not bad. I'm gonna try and tenderise these other ones. I've got a couple left here, gonna bash them out and tenderise them. And bash the hell out of them. I've wrapped up them other limpets in this paper and I'm just gonna pound the hell out of it with a, a mallet. These small ones have literally disintegrated. So, um, they're gonna be a lot more tender than they was. I've got to give that other bit a, a more of a pounding. That is as mashed up as you could get a limpet, I'm sure. It's 
virtually like a paste. Smells nice. So there it is, cooked. It was like a virtual paste when it went in there. There's not much of it, but I'm just experimenting, just trying to see what it's like, because I've heard people say that they're edible, but they're tough and they're not that nice to eat. Just seeing if I can make them a little bit more edible. There he goes. Right. Obviously not as chewy. The garlic obviously helps. Yeah, I could do a little bit, bit more with them in the future, I reckon. If I could get more of them, some bigger ones really panned them out they're still a little bit tough and chewy but yeah not bad little chunks of garlic as well just a little experiment now